Well, uh, hello, hello. I, I have a feeling that we should play some bullet chess. Yeah. Because my bullet performance has just gone through the roof ever since I moved back to the land of good internet. But I am usually playing on my phone where I can play a lot faster than on the mouse. I know it sounds weird, but uh, I, I really play a lot faster with the phone. Because I use both my thumbs to... Um, move the pieces. Here it's a little less clear actually. A little less clear. Um, it's still clear enough. Promoting a trait, capturing a piece, push to spawn up at some point, but have to handle this annoying. Uh, okay, let's allow some capture. Let's come in uh, with this. Let's take a material, come in with the bishop here, I mean the knight, take some more material, remote, uh, GG, it's GG, GG time, GG time for a lot of us here, but I have to remember that I can't play as quickly with, uh, okay, at least we force a trade of rooks. So now we can pre-move our way to the finish line. Um, let's just make sure we hold on to something. Blundered! God damn it. What a game, what a game. Okay. Yeah, you know, without the freaking thumbs, it's a lot harder actually. Counterintuitively. But we'll have a few games here. It's kind of remarkable how even with a really, really compelling advantage, it can be hard to complete all the way through on the clock. So I'm going to have my work cut out for me, but I'm ready. I am very much ready for that. Well, let's, let's just mix up the order for for what, what reason? I don't know. Just for the sake of it. So this is not quite on the cards. Here we capture here. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. I think I might have blundered over there. Almost blundered. Big time. Now we're gonna have to put some pressure down down the line here. Come up with some good accurate moves. Create some possibilities. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, we're gonna have to go into swindler mode. Hey, it's a swindler! Swindler alert. <laughs> What's the point? What's the point of even playing chess if you're gonna play like a swindler, right? There's not much point to it, but it is fun. He had a nasty, nasty surprise on me there. Okay, it looks like we're gonna clock him. <laughs> what a shitty little game, right? Bullet chess. If you want to corrupt your mind, play a lot of bullet chess. 
you get used to uh, failure, success, justice, and the lack of it. And naturally, we're not going to be spending any time analyzing these games, because what's the point? I think I might have a small structural edge, but it's uh, relatively minor. Just a passed pawn on the queen side, but it's advanced. And now we can play a lot faster. But even he's got a passed pawn here. So it's really not much either which way, either way you look at it. Oh, blundered, he blundered. Okay, now we pre-move our way. Pre-move, 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 pre-move. Maybe this is one thing that you can do a little bit better on the uh, so-called computer. Yeah. All right, maybe we'll play one more game. So you can't do an, a final pre-move blitz really well uh, on a computer because you can go so many moves farther. On a phone, you can only pre-move one move ahead, not a sequence of moves. So that is a considerable advantage for sure. Asking probing questions of the uh, bishop. Is he close to getting mated? Not, not really. Where is he? Let's remove one move in here. Yeah, that's simple. Remove. Remove. Removes help you to gain clock time. That's an important thing to always remember. All right, I hope you have enjoyed watching this uh, series of mind-numbing bullet exchanges at the 2300 level. Uh, it's, it's not really any rocket science, you know. We could probably jump to 2400 and bullet. Uh, I mean, if Neiman can do it, then <laughs> what's, what's the big deal? All right, catch you later.